Welcome, Watchers of Illusion, to my castle of confusion. And we're looking at Barbarian Plus today on the Amiga. And this is the Amiga 1200. It's on a hard drive. So it should run fairly nicely. Uh, you probably remember I have done Barbarian on the uh, ZX Spectrum. So if you're not sure which game this is, go and have a look at that one. Now, this was released on a various amount of the systems, including the Spectrum Amstrad C64, Amiga and Atari ST, I believe, and uh, well, well, this is a, a remake of sorts, uh, basically, and, and the amazing thing is, is this was all coded in AMOS. Now, if you don't know what AMOS is, well, it's a coding package for the Amiga, um, and we will see what they have done. Now, this runs on a bog standard A1200. Now, it's not AGA, but it does require the two megabytes of RAM to work smoothly. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be looking to a very uh, slow game. But this, I managed to get it up to par. So there we are. Uh, so, yeah, you should know by looking at this now exactly what game this is and been remade from. And it is the Barbarian. Uh, not the Psygnosis Barbarian, but Barbarian by Palace, I believe. Um, a great game back in its day, and well, it's entertainment central. Yeah, and and look at it, just uh, they've done such a good job with this game. It's just it's so pretty compared to the original, uh, and even the original wasn't exactly rubbish. But there's some nice little modifications made in this version, which I'm going to point out to you as we play. So um, I am I am controlling the uh, barbarian with the sort of the grey. Uh, leotard on, that's him there, yeah, the one that's just won. Um, so, yeah, you've got the little dude that comes along and drags the bodies away and all that kind of thing. You've got all of the move maneuvers and stuff. There's nothing really new apart from new fighters and new backdrops and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that was a nice chop. I'm glad they retained all of the, uh, the, the, the techniques and moves in, in from the original because that flying neck chop is amazing. Let's see if he's going to laugh. Yes, he's going to laugh. There we go. Excellent. So you can see that there are now lots of different backgrounds that they've used. And a, a, a nice sort of plethora of... Hang on a minute. What's that? Okay, sorry. Um, I just caught my eye there. Uh, the little black thing squelching its way along in the background there reminds me of um, Another World. Just, just caught my eye as I was chopping this guy to pieces. Anyway, um, now the other thing is that this, the the kick button when you when you kick them it doesn't actually damage them anymore. So you can't just stand in the corner and kick them to death, which you could do in the original uh, version, but it was just no fun doing that. Oh, and another decapitation! Get in there. So yes, this game is fun, and it's um. It's two-player as well, which means you can hoik in another joystick and uh, you can uh, fight against your friends. And there are selectable fighters, if I remember rightly as well. It's nice to see a bit of variety on this game now. Uh, he's got this dude with a mask on here. I don't think uh, he wasn't in the original uh, lineup. I don't think. But they've done a really, really nice job with the graphics. It is so nice to look at. Uh, the animations are nice and smooth as well, which is great to see. Um... And it runs really smoothly. Like I said, you're going to need uh, a 1200 with a bit more RAM. I would suggest probably about three or four if you're going to be using it on an actual hardware. But if you've got WinUAE or any of the emulators like that, you can uh, ramp up the, um, the machine specs until you get it running the way you want it to. So there you are. Uh, but this is a great game. I'm not sure who the developer is, though. This is uh, If you go to the Facebook page, which is what it was released on, um, it just says Barbarian Plus. So if anyone knows the author's name, let me know and I'll put the credit in for them. Uh, I'll also pop in a download link for you so you can go and grab the discs yourself. Uh, it comes on a mighty six discs, but you can install it to hard drive, so that's a really nice plus. Um... But to be fair, it runs quite nicely off discs as well. It's quite it's quite smooth running on, on that, and you can use multiple drives as well. So that, that again works in its favour. So um, so far so good. What the? Okay, screen shaking. That doesn't sound good. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Do you remember him from Barbarian Two? What the? 
Right, uh, I'm not, I don't know how I'm supposed to beat him if he's just going to stand there and do that all day. Um, okay, I, I don't know. If, can I? Oh, okay. Oh, he's not hurting me, but I seem to be hurting him. Oh, I see. So you're just going to basically, yeah, follow my lead, folks. If you get stuck with this guy, then just crouch down and chop his legs off. It's, um... Oh, this is such good. This is so nice. The, the graphics, I mean, they've squeezed a hell of a lot in here, considering, really. Um, but oh, it's a great game. Really, really nicely done. I'm very, very pleased that I've managed to get this running. I've wanted to do this uh, version of the game for a while now, but not. I've had trouble getting it to run properly. But I had a good tinker around and got it sorted. So, um, happy to be bringing this uh, today. Um... Now we're fighting some busty lady. I don't know who this is, but oh, oh, she lost her head. I love the slow mo on that. It is intentional, by the way, the slow motion with the with the blood spurting out of the neck. That is a uh, that is a design feature. And I'll um, I don't know if you've noticed, but as I've been playing along, the um, the blood on the floor remains as well. So that's quite cool. I'm guessing that's Drax on the throne. Uh, oh, we've got a lizard man to fight against now, which is quite cool. Now, I do believe if you've got a two-player, um, if you've got a friend that you can join with on this, um, then you can actually select the lizard man as a player character. So um, you're not stuck with Captain Grey. There you go. Love the graphics on that and the tiger moves as well. He animates, which is quite nice. So, uh, yeah, graphically, it's stunning. So, um, sound-wise, it's quite nice as well. You've got all the original sound effects and everything else, but there's now new music in the game and uh, a few extra goodies on the old sound department. Other than that, it's the bog-standard affair of all the synthesized sounds, which is really nice. And, oh, another decapitation. Get in there. Anyway, um, yeah, so sound's really nice. The controls are cool. The, uh, it's left, right, up and down. Uh, up will jump, down will crouch, left and right, and then combined with the fire button as well... Then you've got uh, various other different combinations that you can do. Right, okay, is this the last guy? How the hell do I get close to him? Oh, right, okay, so... Nope, no idea, he keeps porting away. Um, I'm guessing he's going to do something stupid and... Whoa, that was close. Um, I guess I've got to jump over that? Oh, I can block, That's that. at least that's something. Um, but yeah, you can do the overhead slash, you've got neck chop, you've got the flying neck chop, you've got kick, you've got uh, roll, lots of different manoeuvres that you can you can play as as well, which is quite cool. Um, I like that a lot, it's very, very good fun, and I think this just adds to the whole barbarian experience, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's, it's one of those games that should have a bit more um, exposure, because it's great fun to play, and it's been very well done, and I'm dead. So there you go, so I'm going to put our... Uh, Retro Revival show. Oh, we're second. Look, Crom is number one. So we'll have another go because we haven't finished of all our areas yet, but we are pulling close. But we'll just skip the intro. Okay. So this is this is the level you'd be most familiar with with the Amiga version of Barbarian um, back in the day. The forest area. But there was never a squirrel going across the background, which is uh, which is cool. Um, yeah. So playability. Well, it's just it, it is. If you played the original, you're gonna love this. If you haven't played the original, I would recommend you start with this one. But if you are curious as to how the other one was, would look, then go ahead and look at it. I'm going to review Barbarian at some point anyway, but don't wait for me. Just carry on and go on and play the original, and then I come and play this one. The difference is night and day. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. So, um, yeah, Barbarian Plus. Excellent game. Does it have replay value? Well, I think so. Um... It's quite short. That's probably the only thing I'm going to say. Because uh, if you manage to, if you manage to actually um, pull off a head chop maneuver on every single round uh, very quickly, then you're going to you're going to get to the end boss quite fast. So that's the only thing I'm going to say uh, regarding that. It is a bit of a quick game, but it comes into its own when you plug in another joystick and play against your friends. So you can hold tournaments and all sorts of funky stuff like that. All good. So, oh, and he's lost his head as well. So a well-timed flying neck chop can end the round instantly. You can see in the top left and top right, that's your, that's your, uh, yours and your opponent's health globes. Um, replay value, yes, you're going to come back to this, especially with the multiplayer. It's just a no-brainer, really. Um, oh no, we got me. That's not good. Um, but... 
I don't know, it's, it's just so much fun. Now, the only way I think I'd say with the age ratings is that because of the blood content, you might want, you probably won't want your little ones playing this, uh, particularly with head chopping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I would probably say probably about 14 plus, but as a parent, that's down to you. So there we are. Um, but, but yeah, Barbarian Plus, have a go. Great game. And it's nice to see. This was released in 2018 as well, so I'm a little bit behind on this one. But, at, uh, you know, better late than never and all that jazz. But let me know if you manage to fight Drax, and let me know if you manage to kill him. And, uh, yeah, top tips for everyone. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this review. It's, uh, you know, it is Christmas time, the, the, uh, the time of year where you want to decapitate your friends legally. Um, so, yeah, have a, have a great go on the game and let me know how you get on, what you thought of it, and what you think of the review as well. I mean, it just, it's, it's just so good. I'm bringing you all the goodies this Christmas. So there you go. Um, I'll be back with a, very, with a brand new review soon, guys. And uh, until then, I wish you a very good evening, and I'll catch you next time. Ta-da! Transmission. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas.